Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So today we'll start with unit life skills and value education. Section A, we'll do page 37 to 30, uh, sorry 40. First of all, chapter 30, the better things to do. Open this chapter and here on the top you should write today's date and grade task. And use your pencils only for writing. You make sure that you are using sharp pencil. So first, in this chapter, what is it? As we grow older, we need to make certain decisions, decisions by ourselves. In the given situations, your situations are given and you have to take on the correct option which you should do in that particular situation. So in the given situations, what do you feel is the better option? First is a man is sitting on a lady's seat in a bus while an old lady is standing. What should you do? A. Ask the man to vacate the seat or B. Offer the old lady your seat. What should you do? You should offer the old lady your seat. So B in front of B for take. Second is, in your school examination, you find a student copying answers from your answer sheet. What should you do? A. Ask him or her not to copy or B. Tell your teacher. I think you should tell to your teacher also. And ask him or her not to copy. First, okay, now question number three. Your friend is watching cartoons on the television by but you want to watch football. What should you do? A. Change the channel without asking your friend. No, that would be rude, right? Wait for the cartoon to end and then watch football. Isn't it good? So, answer is B. Fourth, you notice that a student in your school is throwing garbage inside the classroom. That is very bad habit, no? So what should you do? Tell him that he should throw it in a bin. Or you should just ignore, not to say anything to him. Definitely, you should not ignore. You should tell him that he should throw it in a bin, right? So answer is A. Fifth is, you are waiting to cross the road and the traffic light is red for the pedestrian. But there is a group of people crossing the road. Road, what you, uh, should you do? Cross the road with a group of people or you should wait for the light to turn green for the pedestrian. If one is doing wrong, it doesn't mean that you will also do something wrong, you will be part of it. No, you should wait for the light to turn green. So answer is B. Now, next chapter, that is page number 38. Now in this one, what is it? That is self-appreciation. First of all, there are in this chapter, you can write some another things also. I will, will just give you some examples that what things can you write. Now, every person has its own percent. Everyone has their own choices. So you can write, I will just give you examples. You can write by your own. If you want to write something else about yourself, then you can write it. First of all, part A, write some of your strengths. When we are walking about, uh, we are talking about the strengths, means what are the very positive, the good things in you, which you feel like that yes, that is uh, that makes you strong. So that can be in case of, for example, in uh, for wisdom also, or we can say, for example, if anyone is creative, one know how to represent anything in a good way, right? So creativity or the presentation part, or you can write. If any, anyone is very curious to know about everything, that is also a positive thing about one's personality. If anyone is brave or very helpful, when is you can say kind, right? So few things I'm writing on the board. You can go down something else also. Then for example, if anyone is uh, love justice, right? So, or you can say being fair or kind, uh, you can say fairness, fear about the diseases, don't do partiality, 
or you can say anyone has leadership qualities. Teamwork. It's very difficult to call this someone as a threat. So if you can do it easily, that is your strength or hope. Be positive always. That is also a very good thing. So I have just given a few examples like creativity, curiosity, then bravery, humanity, kindness, fairness or love, justice, leadership, teamwork, forgiveness, hope. These are just few examples you can write more also on the basis of your choice, what you love. Next is write some of your hobbies. Hobbies are when you love to do something, that is one's hobby, right? When one enjoy to do that some particular thing, that is the hobby of that particular person. So a few examples like you can write creative writing. Blog writing or uh, for example singing dancing playing uh, some particular sports or some particular sport here you can try try accordingly or playing some instrument like guitar or painting pottery even you can write clay modeling you can write any other or learning some new language For example, French, right? So you can write anyone. I have just given you a few options like creative writing, singing, dancing, dancing some particular form, any classical, any particular form, right? Hip hop or something, or playing some particular sport. You can give the name of that particular sport, guitar, or any other instrument which you want to, uh, like violin or this. There are so many musical instruments. Painting, pottery, clay modeling, learning any new language. So these can be the hobbies of, or there can be more. It is just up to you. These are just few examples. Part C, write a new thing. Few new things that you wish to learn. What you want to learn. For example, I want to learn a new language. Like I want to learn Spanish. Or French or some other new language, right? Then how to play guitar or any other instrument. I'm just telling you examples. You can write something else also. Or calligraphy. One wants to learn painting. Or some particular sport. Like swimming. Okay. So these are just few examples. You can write any. Next, in, uh, uh, next is chapter uh, 32 on a journey. Now we all love travel. So when I was of your age, the best part of the family vacation was the journey to a place by train. I would love to sit by the window and count the number of electric poles and tunnels that we pass through. I would also love to meet and make new friends. Nowadays, the cost of air tickets is much less than many more people are traveling by aeroplanes so now before starting on a journey by a train or a plane i need to check what have i packed everything have i put in last minute essential like my toothbrush slippers and the other things which you need this chapter is about then when you are going for some traveling then what are the things what you should do you should be you should not depend upon your parents right you should do your things by your own at least the things which you can do you know what you need uh, on the basis of your uh, your activities uh, is my phone charged am i carrying my charger or not do i have a ticket or what is the time for the departure one should be on the time right sometimes the train or plane could be delayed there are phone numbers 
which we can call up to find out the correct time at which the train or plane will leave. <coughs> Sorry. You always ensure that you leave well in advance so that you can reach the station at least 30 time, times uh, 30 minutes before the train depart. In India, we need to reach the airport at least one to one and a half hours before the flight takes off on a train. But now, what are the things which you should not? Do not run up or down the corridor. Do not climb up or down the berths. You should stick your arm out of, you should not stick your arm out of the window. Do not throw empty packets of the food on the ground. It should be in the dustbin only. Do not throw the used cups, plates or other things out of the window. That is not a good habit. May, do not make no, loud noises and disturb your fellow passengers. So this was all about these pages. Have a nice